This is part 34 of Angular 2 tutorial. In our previous video, we discussed why should we use dependency injection and the benefits it provides. One of the benefits of dependency injection is it allows us to share data and functionality very easily as the Angular injector provides a singleton that is a single instance of the service. So in this video, let's see how we can make use of dependency injection and Angular services to create a singleton, that is, a single instance of the service. So we can see how we can share data and functionality across multiple components in our application. Let's understand this with a very simple example. Here we have a service called User Preferences Service. If you look at this service code, it's very straightforward to understand. First, we are importing injectable from Angular Core and then we are decorating our service class with injectable decorator and within this class we have just one property, color preference of type string with a default value orange. So first, let's go ahead and create the service. Let's flip over to Visual Studio, right click on the employee folder and add a new TypeScript file and let's name our file userpreferences.service.ts let's click OK and let me paste the service class code this is the same code that we have seen on the slide and here is what we want to do we want to retrieve the color preference property value and use it on both these components on our employee list component and on our home component notice on both the components we have a text box and at the moment the text box displays the default color preference property value which is orange the background color of the text boxes is also set to orange and we want these components to be also able to change the color preference property value and when one component changes the value to a different color the other component should be able to see that change for example if the home component changes the color preference property value from orange to yellow and when we navigate to employee list component this component should be able to see that change so let's see how to share data using this angular service between these two components home and employee list component so first let's use this user preferences service within our home component here is the home component typescript file within our home component class let's first create a private variable of type user preferences service as you can see we have a syntax error here so let's include the required import statement now let's try to use this user preference service without using a dependency injection so within our class I'm going to introduce a constructor for this home component and then within the constructor I'm going to create a new instance of this user preference service using the new keyword so new user preferences service and this service class doesn't take any parameters so we can use the empty constructor so here we're using the new keyword to create an instance of this user preferences service so this instance is local to this home component and we cannot use this instance to share data with other components let's actually prove that but before that let's include a getter and a setter within our home component to get and set this color preference property value of this user preference service so first let's include a getter in TypeScript to include a getter we use the get keyword and then followed by that the name of the property in this case we are dealing with color so let's call it color you can give it any meaningful name we want and the color is of type string so it's going to return a string type and from the property all we're going to do is return the color preference property value of our user preference service similarly let's include a setter for a setter we use the set keyword instead of get and we use a setter to set the color preference property value to a different value so we have to pass that value as a parameter to this property so let's pass that value is going to be of type string and since this is a setter we will not specify any return value and we don't have to use this return keyword so at the moment we have a getter and a setter next we need to modify the template to include the text box so we have an inline view template within our home component first of all let's use backticks instead of single quotes so our HTML can be on multiple lines and then after the h1 element let's include a div element and we need to close this development as well so let's close it and then 
let's include this literal text color preference and that's what we see right here so we have that color preference text and then we want a text box so after the text let's include an input element of type text and then we want to use two-way data binding to use two-way data binding we draw banana in a box and we use ng model and let's bind the text box to this color property that we have defined so this two-way data binding is going to keep the property value and the value that we type in the text box in sync and then we also want to change the background color of the text box to the value that we have in the color preference property of the service so what we are going to do is style binding to use style binding we use parenthesis we use the style keyword and the style that we want to set is background of the text box and let's set that to color property and then let's close the input element so we need to do similar changes within our employer list component as well first let's do the changes within the component class of our employee list component let's include the required import statement to import user preference service next let's include a private field within our employee list component class of type user preference service and then within the constructor we are going to use the new keyword instead of dependency injection to create a new instance of user preference service so this dot underscore user preference service equals new user preference service and we already discussed the instance that we create using the new keyword is going to be local to this component and we cannot use it to share data with other components we'll prove that in just a bit now just like how we have getter and setter within our home component let's also include them within our employee list component so this component is also able to get and set the color preference property value of our user preference service finally we need to modify the view template of our employee list component here is the HTML file of employee list component so just after the table let's include a break element and then this HTML right here so here we have a text box and we are binding to the color property we are using two-way data binding just like how we did within our home component and we are setting the background color of the text box to the color property we have within our employee list component so with all these changes in place let's run our application by pressing control F5 we are on the home page and notice we can see the default color preference property value which is orange now let's navigate to employee list component and here also we see the default value which is orange so it looks like both these components are sharing the color preference property value of our user preferences service but that's not true if you look at what we are doing within our home component and employee list component we are using new keyword to create an instance of the user preference service so when we do this we are actually creating an instance which is local to that component meaning we cannot use these local instances to share data let's actually prove this at the moment we are on employee list component let's change the color from orange to yellow notice the moment we do that the background color is changed to yellow and if you look at our employee list component class we have the setter which gets called and what is it doing it's changing the color preference property value of the user preference service so now the color preference property value within this service instance should be yellow and then we have a getter here which is going to retrieve that color preference property value which is yellow and if you look at the HTML we're using two-way data binding with the color property and we also have set the background color of the text box to the value that we have in the color property so that's the reason why it changes to yellow now the instance that we have within our employee component which is this user preference service instance it's local to this component so obviously it cannot be used to share data within home component so when we navigate to home component let's see if we see this yellow color so let me click on home notice we still see orange there so let's understand why we can't see that yellow color here now first of all when we navigated away from employee list component to home component we lost this local instance of user preference object that this employee list component has created 
And now we are on the home component, right? So when we are on the home component, an instance of the home component is created. And when the instance of home component is created, its constructor gets called. And here within the constructor, we are creating another local instance of user preference service. So here we are creating a brand new instance of user preference service. And what is the default value? The default value is orange. And that's what we see within the home component text box. Now look at what's going to happen when we navigate to employees component. Notice here we see orange and not the yellow color that we have set before. Why is that? That's because when we navigated away from employee list component to home component, we lost that local instance. And when we came back to employee list component from the home component, a new instance of this component is created. And when that instance is created, its constructor is called. And within the constructor, we are creating a brand new service of the user preference service. So we get its default value with that brand new instance. So now let's see how all this is going to change with dependency injection. But before that, let's actually prove that a brand new instance of user preferences service is created every time we navigate from employee list component to home component and vice versa. Now within our user preference service, I am going to include a constructor. And all this constructor is going to do is log a message to the console saying new instance of service created. So every time an instance of this user preference service is created, this constructor gets called and it's going to log this message, new instance of service created to the console. So let's save these changes and launch browser developer tools. And then let's reload this web page. Notice we are on the employee list component and we get that message new instance of service created because this component needs an instance of user preference service. Now let's navigate away from employee list component to home component. Notice we see another message logged new instance of service created. And now when we come back to employee list component, it's going to create another brand new local instance of service. So every time we navigate between these two components, a new instance of service is created which is local to that specific component and these local instances cannot be used to share data. Now let's see how things are going to change with dependency injection. Remember the two steps to use dependency injection? We discussed those two steps in detail in part 32. So if you're new to dependency injection, please watch that video. The first step is to register our service with the Angular injector and then within the components where we need an instance of that service, we specify a dependency using the component constructor. So first, let's register our user preferences service with the Angular injector. So let's go to our root module, which is app.module.ts. And then here first, let's include the required import statement. And then we are going to use the provider's property of the ng module decorator to register our user preference service with the Angular injector. Next, within our home component and employee list component, we need to specify a dependency on this service. So let's do the change first within the home component. We don't need this private variable, so I'm going to get rid of that. And we don't need to create an instance of the user preference service using the new keyword like that. Instead, we specify a dependency on the service using a constructor parameter like this. We discussed this in detail in part 32 of our Angular 2 tutorial. And then let's do the same change within our employee list component as well. So we know, don't need this private field and we don't need to initialize this within the constructor. And then all we need to do is specify a constructor parameter. So with all these changes in place, let's run our application one more time by pressing Control F5. We are on the home page and we see the default color orange. Now let's launch browser developer tools. We are on the console tab and notice we see this message, new instance of service created. We know the home component needs an instance of user preferences service, but we are not creating a new instance of the service within the component. Instead, we are using dependency injection and we have already registered our user preference service with the Angular injector. So the Angular injector is going to provide the instance to our home component. So the first thing the Angular injector does is it checks, do I already have an instance of user preference service? 
it doesn't because this is the first time we have requested for it. So it's going to create a brand new instance and provide it to the home component. With a brand new instance, we get its default value, which is orange. And that's what we see within the home component. And we also see this message, new instance of service created. Now let's change this color from orange to yellow. Now we have that single instance with the Angular injector and we are changing the color from orange to yellow. So the color preference within that instance is changed now to yellow. Now let's navigate to employee list component. And notice first of all within the console, we don't see another message saying new instance of service created. But then if you look at our employee list component, we see the color right here, yellow, which the home component has set. Now the Angular injector is going to check, do I already have an instance of user preference service? It does. So it's going to provide that same service instance to employee list component as well. Okay, and that's how we are able to see the yellow color which the home component has set. And the fact that we don't see new instance of service created message logged in the console again, we can be certain that the Angular injector is injecting the same instance into both home and employee list component. Now, if this component changes this to red, and if we go back to home component, we should see that red color. So the summary is with dependency injection, it is easy to share data and functionality as the Angular injector provides a singleton, that is a single instance of the service. Thank you for listening and have a great day.